we call this in our dialect, we call the saksak. Okay? When you are going to operate, you have to operate in the principle of circular motion. Because circular motion is a very uh, convenient motion that will continually uh, flow the blade into a small circle up to the wide circle. It covers to your left side, it covers to your right side. So the importance of a circle is also a very demanding because in actual combat it has the speed in, in a fast way. At the same time, uh, you can make your flow of the blade very psychologically uh, demoralizing to your opponent because he cannot understand what you're doing. Alright, so when you're moving here, you have a slash. When you come down, you have a thrust. You can come back to slash and then thrust at the same time. So one motion is already covered by two attacks. Thrust and slash, thrust and slash. You can have a wide. So while you're doing this, you're also covering the enemy at the back. The enemy could be at your right side. See? So you can move and hit that. We can move and hit him on the right side. You, are, you have one enemy to the front, you have one enemy to the back, and you have one enemy to your right side. And then you can turn to your right, you can turn to your back, you can turn to your left side, and you can turn back to the front. While you are moving here, covering this, you can cover that, turn to your left, then you can go back to your right. So the movement of circular motion is a very universal, meaning to say you can move in any direction, north, south, east, west.